to make up the night of her big Golden Globe win. And today he's going to show us how to recreate that look at home. So, Christopher, what was your inspiration when you sat down with Jessica at the Golden Globes to get her makeup ready? Well, when I saw the seafoam green of her dress, I really felt like it would be best to approach it kind of like a watercolor painting. So I kept it really like washes of peaches on the eyes and corals on the cheek. But then Jessica actually had an idea where she wanted to have like a bluish undertoned ruby stained lip. I can't wait to see this recreate. Yes. So the first step I'm doing on my Jessica capsule look like Karen is I'm moisturizing her skin really well with a heavy moisturizer. I like to apply a primer starting from the middle of the face and working out to the perimeters of the face and then down the neck. Using a heavier moisturizer on the red carpet is really helpful because the actresses that I work on travel so much and Jessica especially has been flying back and forth to a Broadway show in New York. So the next step is foundation. So Chris, when I was looking at Jessica on the red carpet, her skin looked absolutely flawless. Is that the amount of foundation you put on her? No, it's not actually the amount of foundation that I use, but it's the color that I use. Um, if you use a foundation that really matches the general tone of your body, it looks seamless and so you look like you're wearing less makeup. It looks overall more perfect. As far as it lasting all night long, how do you get your foundation to not rub off? Well, after you do your foundation and your concealer, you immediately set it with a translucent setting powder that locks it in. It also helps all future products, powder products, to go blend perfectly on top of it. So now I'm just concealing any little bits that I see on the complexion that I want covered and any redness around the eyes. I'm just contouring lightly down the sides of the nose and under the cheekbones and across the hairline on the forehead. Now I'm going to highlight. It also adds a really beautiful glow to this complexion. Now I'm applying a very iridescent coral color to her cheeks, just on the apple of the cheek and working up towards the ear. It um, helps play off the light and give that fresh look to the cheek. Also because Jessica's eyes are green, the coral really magnifies the green color. Okay, now for the eyes. You know, when I was looking at Jessica's eyes, I wanted to approach them as a watercolor, so I used really beautiful washes of peaches and bronzy tones. All right, so you're starting with the peach as a base, but her eyes seem to have depth to them too, so what was your technique? Well, I used um, just a simple wash of peach, just like I'm doing right now, but then I took just a little bit of a smaller brush and just a little bit of this rusty tone. I just very lightly hit the outer corner of her eye and onto the bone. I didn't tight line Jessica's upper eyelash line, but on Karen, I think I'm going to because her eyelashes are a little bit softer and finer. And to get the same look, I'm going to do that. I'm literally applying this cream liner right to the root of the eyelashes, where your eyelashes grow out of your eye. So now we're on to mascara. And, um, you know, if your eyelashes are, are not very long or whatever, you can use a really great lengthening mascara and a thickening mascara, or you can even get to that strip of false eyelashes too, because remember, it's Hollywood, it's a red carpet. Go for it. When you apply mascara to yourself, it's really important to get close to the mirror and make sure you throw your head back. Because if you throw your head back, you're forced to look down into the mirror and therefore you're bringing your eyelashes as far away from your brow bone and you're going to keep it a lot cleaner because you won't bump into your brow bone. So Christopher, what are we doing for the lips? Well, the lip is going to be a real deep Bordeaux berry stain. And uh, it's really important to create a stain because um, Jessica had really full lips and a very wide kind of mouth. So it's better to create a more diffused edge on the lip by staining it instead of painting it really strong with a heavy lip line. So for something that's dark, what do you recommend for those of us at home that might have fair skin as well? Well, you definitely want to go slow. You want to build it up. So it's about selecting a color and just slowly start tapping it onto the lips. And you can keep adding more and more as you feel you need. And using your finger definitely um, helps to have, it just catches right on the natural edge of the lip without like going crazy, overdrawing, or any of that stuff. And I like how it just nicely presses it into the skin. It doesn't, it's not too um, harsh. So Christopher, I have to ask, how was it working with Jessica? Well, Jessica's great. She's a very level-headed, grounded, sweet person, and she's very interactive with the whole getting ready process and the makeup. She uses lots of art references. She might name a specific painter or a specific painting and, um, you know, when communicating what she's looking for with the, with the makeup. So she has a lot of input. Absolutely. You know, I really believe that um, actresses spend their whole career playing other people. And when you're on the red carpet, it's their one moment that they can really shine and be who they really are. So I think it's important that I interact with them and, and really let them 
have a say in who they are going to be on that red carpet. To stay true to themselves. Absolutely, sure. yeah. So I heard you had a really unique way of adding primer to Jessica and not just on her face. No, I actually bring the primer all the way down the neck onto the body because, you know, when you're wearing a low-cut dress and a low-cut back and there's legs and arms and all that skin showing, you really want it to be a seamless transition from the face to the body. And the primer that I use is very reflective and smoothing, so it blurs the complexion on the arms and on the chest and on the back, and so there's a u uniformity about the entire complexion. I was looking at her and thought, wow, you know, she looks like a vision. She was just like floating down the red carpet, so kudos to you. No, thank you. So seeing Jessica on stage except her Golden Globe, she did look flawless. Did you have her keep anything in her clutch while she was at dinner? Well, I always make sure that my clients are left with a translucent powder and the lip color that they use. But I also have another secret weapon. I am texting them when I'm watching live of, of the awards, and I'm like, oop powder between the brows and just un underneath the, your lower lip and you know so I give them direction during the show even. So it seems like you may or may not be detail oriented. Well you know I really believe that it's all the fine little minutia that add up to a really great effect and illusion in the end. So it's really important to pay attention to every detail. Well Christopher, Jessica did look like the entire full package. So thank you so much for coming to show no. us how to do it. Thank you very much for having me. No problem and thank you guys for watching Bella Sugar TV. See ya.